Hello everyone and welcome to another MTG chat. This one, a guided tour through the colorful Inventors Fair featured in the newest expansion to the Magic the Gathering card game, Kaladesh. As always, I welcome and enjoy your comments, concerns, and criticisms. If you feel like I've said something in error or I'm just plain wrong about something, please tell me in the comments as I'm always looking to improve my content. Now, with that out of the way, let's look at the release document. Freshly released a good week before the Kaladesh pre-releases. Kaladesh is set to launch on September 30th, with pre-release events scheduled for the weekend before on September 24th to 25th. Kaladesh will be legal for sanctioned constructed play on September 30th, and since this is a rotation set for standard, the following card sets are permitted in that format at that time. Battle for Zendikar, Oath of the Gatewatch, Shadows over Innistrad, Eldritch Moon, and Kaladesh. Kaladesh contains 264 cards, 101 of which are common, 80 are uncommon, 15 are mythic rare, and 15 are basic land. There are an additional 10 cards only available in the Kaladesh Planeswalker deck product, and some Kaladesh booster packs can contain the new Masterpiece series of cards, of which there are 30 in Kaladesh itself. This set has three new mechanics, two new cycles, a new rules term for an old concept, and a neat little nod to those lore purists out there, those Vorthoses, with the story spotlight cards. The first new mechanic is the concept of energy. There are cards in Kaladesh that, when they enter the battlefield, may give you one or more energy counters. These energy counters are like any other resource and can be spent to pay for the activated abilities of spells or permanents. Much like life points, you can't spend more energy counters than you currently have. As they are counters that a player may have, they are not associated with any specific permanence. Also, players must keep track of the amount of energy counters they have, similar to other player counters, like poison or experience counters. For the purposes of card notation, for you custom card creators out there, energy is noted with the capital letter E. The second new mechanic is the keyword crew, listed on artifacts with the subtype vehicle. As stated in the release document, some artifacts have the subtype vehicle. Vehicles have the crew ability, which allows them to become artifact creatures. Crew is an activated ability of vehicle cards. Crew N means tap any number of untapped creatures you control with total power N or greater. This permanent becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Vehicles are printed with a power and toughness, but are not creatures until they become creatures through an effect, most likely through the activation of its crew ability. Once a player announces that they are activating a crew ability, no player may take actions until the ability is paid for. Basically, players can't try to change a creature's power, tap, or destroy a creature until the crew ability has been paid for after its announcement. The latest you can activate a vehicle creature to attack, assuming it has been on the battlefield since your last untap step, is the beginning of combat step. The latest you can activate a vehicle creature to block is during your opponent's declare attacker's step. Vehicles becoming creatures do not count as creatures entering the battlefield. Neither will abilities that normally trigger whenever a creature enters the battlefield trigger. In addition, creatures that crew a vehicle aren't attached to it like a creature attaches equipment. Effects that affect the vehicle do not affect the creatures that crew it. The third new mechanic has language that includes a new term for actions that place tokens onto the battlefield under your control. Instead of putting an amount of tokens onto the battlefield, that language has been simplified into the word create. So, for example, instead of cards saying, and I quote, put a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield, cards from here on out will say, and I quote, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. There aren't any functional changes to tokens or their creation. This is merely a simplification of language for a game action for cards printed here on out. The third new mechanic is Fabricate. Fabricate is a triggered ability that means when this permanent enters the battlefield, you may put N plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. If you don't, create N 1 1 colorless servo artifact creature tokens. As the Fabricate ability is resolving, you choose whether to put the plus one plus one counters or create the servo tokens, and no one can take actions between the time you choose and the time the counters are added or tokens are created. These counters are added to the creature after said creature is put onto the battlefield. It will not enter the battlefield with any counters. 
Now, if you can't put plus one, plus one counters on the creature, perhaps your opponent responded to the fabricate trigger by killing the creature, then you just create those servo tokens. Kaladesh features two new card cycles. The Gear Hulk cycle, mythic rare artifact creatures that require colored mana to cast, with a powerful triggered ability when it enters the battlefield. The second cycle featured is the Kaladesh enemy colored fast lands. Fast lands being lands that enter into the battlefield untapped unless you control three or more other lands, which complement the ally colored fast lands that were printed in Scars of Mirrodin. The final little nod that Wizards has given us are a group of five cards that feature crucial points within the Kaladesh storyline, connected to the short stories found on the Magic website. These cards are watermarked with the Planeswalker icon and include a link to mgtstory.com and have some fairly powerful abilities, from the strong searching effect printed on Inventor's Fair, to the flag bearer ability on Captured by the Consulate, to the defensive capabilities of Deadlock Trap, the hand reloading ability printed on Fateful Showdown, and the control changing power within Confiscation Coup. With that, we finished our guided tour of the Inventor's Fair here on Kaladesh. We look forward to seeing the works of our great minds, and I'm sure that we'll see some great stuff from our head judge, Tezzeret. Kaladesh pre releases are on September 24th to 25th, with its official release date and the date that the standard format rotates on September 30th. Lastly, a short update regarding the channel and regarding me. I have a few unboxing videos that I have recorded but are still being worked on in my video editor, including one that I have just recorded today that I am more excited about than usual. I will record another Make Mordheim Great Again episode in the coming week, since I know there are people that like watching it and I just love playing Mordheim. Uh, I have also recently launched a channel where I read old and interesting texts, similar to the YouTube channel Ancient Recitations, but with a less heavy focus on the very ancient world, and more just things I come across that I find interesting. I've called the channel Uncommon Selections, and I invite you to take a look at it here. My first reading was Beethoven's famous Heiligenstadt Testament, and it was a lot of fun to produce. I'm collecting old texts from a variety of Western as well as Asian sources, and it is my dream to eventually tackle what I see as the best book on the planet, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So, again, I invite you to check it out, and if you like the format and want more, consider subscribing to that channel as well. Thank you very much for watching, folks. If you've enjoyed the video, consider liking or even sharing a link to it with your friends. If you had a question, a concern, or a suggestion, please leave a comment as I am always looking for ways to improve the channel as well as interact with my viewers. Now, if you really like my content and you want to see more stuff like it, consider subscribing to the channel. I do update the channel regularly and on a variety of different gaming stuff. Until next time, I will see you when I see you.